All right, this demon driver here and back again. These are the three pieces of foam that we just cut out. Here they are. All right. One, two, three. Each one three inches deep. Okay, so this is nine inches. All right. All right. We're going to epoxy all three of these together. Then we're going to hot wire the top view. The first hot wire cut, once all three pieces are together, will be the top down, right? Top cut. Piece on top, piece on the bottom, and the hot wire is going to ride these two, and we're going to cut out the top profile of the MD-80 nose. Then, once that's cut, we're going to cut the side profile out of the foam. Both sides. One on one side, one on the other. The hot wire is going to ride it and then cut the side profile. Then, to clean everything up, the actual bulkhead or the, you know, the, um, the curvature and, uh, you know, round profile of the nose section to round it out, top, side, and then to actually give it its round profile. So that's what's going to happen. We're going to glue these three together and then we're going to start cutting. So that's how we do it. Once that's done, then you go to actual hand sanding. Cutting with the knife, then hand sanding. That's where all the time consumption comes into place, that's where it takes all the time, but by doing this you make the master in which you can now make the fiberglass mold. Once you can make the fiberglass mold, you can make as many nose sections, tail sections, engine nacelles, or whole airplanes as you want. Just basically as long as you have enough material, you know, epoxy and uh, fiberglass resin and fiberglass cloth and uh, mold making material, you can make as many as you want. The, you know, sky's the limit. So, this is the next step. Here we go. We're going to start epoxying, and we're going to epoxy these babies together, and we're going to make, we're going to make an entire uh, nose section here. MD-80 nose section coming up. Got to hot wire it. All right, Demon Driver here, and as you can see, the three pieces of foam that I hot wired have been epoxied together. I mixed up some five-minute epoxy and um, brushed it on, and I've, I've now stacked the three pieces, and I've got the uh, cordless batteries there just sitting there as weights, just weighting it down, and in about ten minutes, I'll... Uh, Go ahead and start hot wiring the side profile, top, well top first, then side, then and do that, and then um, we're going to get rocking. We're going to make our MD-80 nose section. Hot wire it. Alright, we're moving along here. Hey, this is Demon Driver. Okay, here's what's happening. This is that piece of foam. This is that big chunk of foam that we epoxied together and this is the top down view of the MD-80. This is the cardboard cutout and this is the hot wire stencil. One on the top side, one on the bottom side. The hot wire is going to ride the stencils straight through. It's going to ride them. And we're going to cut it out of this block of foam. Top down view and then once that's done we're going to do the side. Okay? That's what we're going to do right now. When? Now. All right, here we go.
Okay, this demon driver back again. All right, here's what we got. Here's what we have. Okay, what you saw outside was the first, that was the top down cut. Now we're gonna do the side profile, okay? Side profile. Cardboard stencil, side profile, cardboard stencil, both sides, okay? Now the reason why I don't really do any talking out there is because basically I'm concentrating. I'm really concentrating on what I'm doing. Um, you really got to watch everything that's going on. Sometimes if the hot wire is too hot, it cuts into the cardboard. So you've got to really pay attention to what you're doing. You don't want to cut. You don't want to put your hands into the thing. You know, so you got to really be careful. I'm not wearing gloves because of the hot wire. I'm wearing gloves because it's very cold right now in South Carolina. It's freezing. I might as well be living in you know, the suburbs of Toronto. It's cold. So, this is the next step. And then, once that's done, we're going to do... We're going to cut that way. Okay? Alright. Let's go. Let's, let's do some cutting. Let's do some hot wire cutting.